This is Samsung S2012 Ultra vs OnePlus 10 Pro speed test comparison the max out flagship devices from Samsung and OnePlus. Here I love the design finish in both these devices. Exciting part is both got Qualcomm Sage Gen 1 silicon which is like really powerful max out RAM. So it's all about the optimization and how well they made use of the powerful CPU. Yes, I'll be also sharing some images I shot using both these devices, so make sure to watch it full. So yes, kicking things with booting both these devices and here we go, Samsung vs OnePlus 8 Gen 1 Silicon on both, One UI vs Color OS, so... Okay, so in this one, OnePlus wins and Samsung is like 5 to 6 seconds late in there. Now fingerprint scanner test and fast on both. Trying this again, once again, that is same on both. So some system apps like dialer and that is fast on OnePlus. Messages, same on both. Play store, quick on OnePlus again. Listing and that is fast on both. So now camera and that is same on both. The front facing selfie shooter is also same on both. Now settings and I wanna show you guys the design difference side versus center hole punch, high refresh rate on both and max out resolution on both these devices. So yes now some heavy games like Angry Birds and from now on you will see the real difference 8 gen 1 silicon, 1 UI versus color OS and here yeah, that is quick on Samsung by small margin. Genshin Impact that is a huge game this game cost like 15 gigs in total this game got different characters all having magical powers and the opening animation is same on both but the overall game loading speed is fast on oneplus yes yeah, small difference not that huge So the overall gaming experience was nice on both Samsung and OnePlus. Initially there were some lags in Samsung but then all was smooth in both these devices. The Samsung display is for sure gorgeous. So now PUBG and I play this game a lot. You can play it online with your friends or random players. This game got lots of maps and modes. So yes, in this one once again Samsung wins by small margin and both can play at max out settings which is nice. The Exynos variant cannot go ultra but this one can which is awesome. So the gaming session was amazing on both these devices, no lags whatsoever. This is what I expect from a flagship device. Gangster Vegas, this game is like GTA, you can drive cars or buy a house or hit anyone, do whatever you want to do. So in this game both are same, no difference at all. Some social media stuff like Reddit. So in this one I would say OnePlus wins because the listing image was quite late in Samsung S22. Instagram and that is quick on Samsung, the listings and all but my profile is quick as snap in OnePlus 10 Pro. Now some exporting and rendering stuff, Adobe Rush exporting a 1080p video file and here we go. Here initially that is same on both but Samsung is surpassing OnePlus and yes, Samsung is the king of exporting in this test. Microsoft Word 50MB document and speeding it up. 
that is once again fast on Samsung. There's a small gap in these two devices, but Samsung is overall fast for sure. RAM management test and dialer in both Play Store, that is a reload in OnePlus, Angry Birds, and that is again a reload on OnePlus. Genshin Impact is a reload on both, shocking, PUBG, OnePlus once again, Gangster Vegas, and I think OnePlus is done. Instagram, they're in both, Reddit, MS Word, and OnePlus just cannot keep these applications in memory. Yes, of course, I did all the changes in the settings, so performance and the game booster is off on both. So clearly, Samsung wins overall and that by a huge margin. Exynos is now gone and Samsung One UI plus Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is a deadly combination. OnePlus no doubt is not slow but the RAM management was awful in OnePlus Color OS. Here Geekbench score, single core score are way high on Samsung and multi-core score is high on OnePlus by small margin. Some indoor images I shot using both these devices. The full camera comparison is coming soon, so make sure to subscribe. Both these devices can shoot some awesome images overall. Samsung of course got the lead in terms of the color accuracy and white balance. This all guys, thanks so much for watching. Your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.